Hello everyone, welcome to the Doing It Is channel, another lesson in the view series. Today we are going to talk more about event modifiers and another topic called key modifiers. Okay, in the event modifiers we discuss about um, modifiers that we can add after an event. So for example, you could have added a stop propagation modifier. But an important uh, modifier that I wish to talk about is clicked once. So let's take a look at that. Okay, when I click this, I can click it again and again. But when there are times that you want the user to only click it once, make it only clickable once. To do that, you can simply pass in once. Okay, so if I do that, I can click it only once. All right. Another modifier that we are going to talk about is our key modifiers. For example, you want to send a message when a user hits the enter key. So for example, we can do that using view easily. Okay, let me create an input tag. I have a V model and that's going to be message. And then I'm going to write so V on I can say key up and I can call a function send message all right so let's create that function send message okay I'm going to do console log for now message okay let's check it out I'll refresh hello we see the message console locked. All right. So now what I want is I want to only call the send message function when I hit enter. So we can do that easily. We can say key enter. So I refresh. I type hello. We don't see the console log message, but when I hit enter, we see it. Okay. If you want to enable the user to enter only once we can chain it like this then if i refresh and try again i hit once and if i hit again it doesn't work so that is that further i would like to talk about passing parameters to your methods for example if you let's say you want to pass an argument here let's say you want to pass in two and then capture the number Okay, you can do that simply. Let's get rid of the event. You can pass an argument like this. So let's do that. Oops, let's do a lips number. We didn't refresh, did we? Oh, we can't do that in alerts. Refresh again. And we get two. So you can pass in parameters to a function. But assume you want to pass in a parameter and the event. View stores the event in a special variable called dollar event. So this is how you can pass a parameter and an event. Okay. So let's console lock the number and the event. So number we'll do a number like this and the event the event will be passed through as well so we get the number as the first argument and then the event object so we'll do event so that's how you pass a parameter and events you see that the number and the event all right so now you know about key modifiers you have enter Tab, delete, escape, space, up, down, left, right. All those are modifiers that you can use. Okay, so you can use key codes as well. Okay, uh, another thing that you learned was that you learned about the event modifier once to uh, send a notification, uh, enable a user to click a button or do something only for once. Uh, yeah, and you learned about how to pass parameters and event in a to a method in Vue.js. Alright, so that covers this lesson. I hope you 
like it please do share and subscribe have a good day take care